Jacksonville State Volleyball back on the road this weekend. They make the trip through what everybody else in the league calls Death Valley as they go to Eastern Kentucky on Saturday and then to more, or excuse me, on Friday in Moorhead State on Saturday. OVC clashes as our ladies try to rebound from a disappointing weekend last weekend. Things just did not go for well for you, Coach Goodson. Uh, Friday, Tennessee State, even after – two sets at one apiece, and then they came out one at three sets to one, and then Saturday things didn't get any better for you against Belmont, so tough, tough weekend for you and your ladies. Well, it starts with me, um, and so, yeah, none of, you know, we just had a bad weekend, you know, top down. You know, the, the Tennessee State match, kind of particularly disappointing because we had hit, we out hit them, we had more, more kills than they did. Defensively, we played pretty well, but, you know, Bad, tough weekend serving and passing, you know, for us, and that's so key to what we what we try to do. You know, same thing again the next day with Belmont. We play a close set, first set, second set to overtime. You know, we lose a due set, um, but that's behind us, and we're we're going forward. If the tournament started today, you would be in the tournament. But now, with a couple of weeks left in the regular season, you really haven't left yourself any kind of margin of error in there, have you? That's the downside from last weekend. Uh, we're, we're still in a good place. Um, there's still there's plenty of volleyball to play. It's just that we lost a little bit of, of cushion we had. And so now, you know, every match is going to be pretty important. There's, a, there's a, you know, several teams that are kind of right there within a game of each other. But every win that we have, we're going to put somebody in our rearview mirror. All right, you beat Eastern Kentucky here. I think it was a five-set match. It was a Saturday contest, and then Moorhead State was the Friday night match that weekend. Won the first two sets. They came back to win the next three. But from a confidence standpoint, as we've talked, I think your ladies gained some confidence from that one and had some chances against Moorhead. Oh, that, absolutely. You know, we looked at the stats. Moorhead had three kids play the matches of their lives to beat us. And so, you know, we had, we had a chance in the fourth set to close it out. They made a play, but we know that, you know, that's kind of as good as well as they're going to play. You know, we've got still a little bit more that, that we have. Tighten some things up, make it, make a few adjustments, and then we really played a nice match. Um, coming back on Saturday, you know, fight, fought off the emotional letdown. Despite how close the scores look, that was our best offensive match in the, of the year. And 71 kills, you know, hit, you know, over 200. Um, you know, really kind of put the hammer down in the fifth set. And so, you know, we are, we are very much looking forward to this weekend. Do you do anything different, add a new wrinkle, or do you expect them to try to do something different against you, either one of them, this weekend? Um, based on what we've seen scouting-wise, these two teams kind of, kind of do what they do. Um, you know, pretty consistent match in and match out. They may, you know, flip some personnel and line up, but in terms of their systems, they're pretty consistent. And that's really sort of Moorhead's hallmark. You know, Moorhead does what they do. Does what they do. They do. Is that good English? Does yeah. what they do. Do what they do. Um, very consistent. You know, very very disciplined. So we'll make we'll make a few adjustments. Not many. Um, you know, Ryan, our offensive coordinator, has got his hands in the you know his magic box. So we're going to come. Going to tweak it, right? Tweak, yes. Make some tweaking adjustments. Um, we're going to play a little bit a little bit cleaner, a little more energy. All right. Thank you, sir. Safe travels. Good luck. Thank you. Jacksonville State women on the road Friday afternoon at Eastern Kentucky at 5 p.m. Saturday, 4 o'clock up at Moorhead, Kentucky. You can follow it all at JSUGamecockSports.com. Jacksonville State's Lauren Beesing going to visit with us here as we get ready for a road trip this weekend for Jacksonville State Volleyball. Disappointing last weekend uh, for you ladies against Tennessee State Belmont, and I know nobody's more dejected than y'all were with the outcome. For sure. We're definitely a better team than we showed last weekend, but we're having a good week of practice thus far, and any good team is, just has to move on from a situation like that and look ahead. All right. Eastern Kentucky on Friday. That was a five-set match the first time around. Talk a little bit about Eastern Kentucky, and then we'll talk about the leaders in the league in Moorhead State. Yes, I mean, just like any team in our conference, anyone in the OVC can beat anyone on any given day. Um, Eastern Kentucky is a pretty good team. We obviously took them to five sets this last time. We'd like to not let that happen again. We'd like to get the sweep and beat them in three this coming Friday night. Um, they have a really good outside hitter in there. At Libero is pretty good as well. Moorhead State hadn't lost a match in the league since going back to last season, 2011. You had them two sets to none here. Does that give you confidence going into their place on Saturday? Yes, that loss definitely hurt because we definitely had them in the position we wanted to have them in, and we should have closed that out, but we didn't. And now we've moved on, and yes, it has given us confidence because we know we can play at that level and we can beat them. You're one of the veterans on the team. Uh, do you talk to some of the, the freshmen? Hey, uh, sorry, you know, you're getting tired. you got to fight through it and that sort of thing. Absolutely. They're not used to this, you know, grueling schedule, and we have to get them on board because they're starters on our team. They're a big part of our team. So, yes, we have to talk it over and just get them to keep fighting through the, 
the tiredness of this season. Everybody's spirits um, are still pretty good? Oh, for sure. We're all, like I said, we had really good practice Monday and Tuesday and obviously going to have another good one today. So everyone's spirits are very high and we're ready to have some dominating performances this weekend. As we are now into, the, what, the last two weeks of the season, have you thought about that your career is winding down now? Yes, I've reflected a lot on that this past weekend, and it's bittersweet. You know, we have one more home weekend here playing in the Coliseum, and then I'll be done, and then we go and finish on the road at UT Martin. So, yes, it's very bittersweet, but it's not close to over because we're going to make it to the tournament and win that tournament and go on to NCAAs. All right, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Lauren Beeson, Jacksonville State, ladies on the road, Friday afternoon, Eastern Kentucky, Saturday afternoon at Moorhead State. And, again, you can follow it all at JSUGamecockSports.com.